right, we're on to part three, inner healing, emotional, healthy spirituality. I'm Teresa Croft, my guest. I don't even know if I told you in the second part. Penny from Jacksonville. <laughs> Penny Tucker from Jacksonville. <laughs> Penny's been in the midst of uh, her final years with uh, Randy, almost said Randy Jackson. <laughs> you have Jackson on the brain. <laughs> Uh, Randy uh, Clark, yeah, Randy doing, Clark. Uh, just, this is just the way we are. Yeah, I mean, you may hear noises out there. It's just the way we are. We just go with the flow. We of the go spirit. with the flow. <laughs> uh, but it's like I've been doing Christian healing certification programs with Global Awakening, which has transformed my life That's in many awesome. ways. Well, I'm really excited about part three because it has to do with renewing your mind. And you're actually in the process of writing. Yeah, I'm writing out. in my training manual, I'm writing okay, this so kind what's of the, the section of my teaching. We're talking about inner healing. How does renewing your mind play a role? It's probably the, and there's no three steps, but it's probably the, I'm getting healed and I need to continue healed. Is that about a good way of looking at it? And I, I think it's very, very foundational. Okay. Because without renewing your mind, you can go through different things with you know you can go through forgiveness you can go through acceptance and rejection and you can deal with different issues right but without renewing your mind without believing the truth that was exposed the, the the truth that was revealed from the lie that was exposed yeah it's you can't you can't continue to walk out the lie and get transformed. Right. And transformation is everything. So yeah. if you want to go on to step three, this isn't just renewing your mind. This is when you're, everything is starting to be transformed. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. It and is. I think of, um, <clears throat> I think when I think of renewing my mind, I think about your belief system. To renew your mind, you have to believe what God says. And as you renew your mind, you're able to believe. So you shift your belief system. And what it does is it keeps you from enabling the lies, rejection, lies, I'm offended. How could dare I can't offend them. It keeps you totally on this, of this walking in your identity, even more of a solid mm -hmm. foundation. Yeah. It's critical to everything. It but, is. It is. Uh, so let's say you're getting some inner healing. Like, you know, Penny and I are sitting here in front of you in a journey, our own journey of being inner healing, of walking through drama, trauma. So we can, uh, we can give you examples of, hey, this isn't a done deal. We have to continue. You want exactly. to speak to that? Yeah. If, you, if it's even things that you've been through or when things come up now I'm at the point where when things come up and something kind of like doesn't feel right inside right. it's like okay all right Papa what's going on yeah and he'll reveal something to it's me beautiful. that I'm like okay whether I need to forgive whether whatever whatever tool whatever thing that he brings up that I need to do if I don't do it it's not going to be released it's not going to kind of be like washed off of me yeah. so that I can transform my mind, yeah. renew my mind into what he wants me to Amen. believe. Yeah. I st if, I, if I'm believing the lie, I'm still on that fish hook of the enemy. Right. And God doesn't want us there. Yeah. I think of it as this way. If I start to feel uh, in here, I think of two things. Have I spent really good time loving on God or am I using my quiet time looking at my iPhone? Mm -hmm. Guilty. Okay, so yeah. that's one check for me because it's really easy to get up with a cup of coffee and uh, just go, do, go do, do, right do, 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 here. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah. someone asks, and you want to make sure you respond to them because you want to make sure they know you're intentional and all this stuff. So there's so much in the Word of God about who we are. Right. You know, I, I heard it, and it's like one of the best places to go is Ephesians. Mm. And go through, look at the verses that say who we are with Christ, in Christ, through Christ. Right. And as we look at that, and it's like we're seated in heavenly places with Christ. Mm. We are God's engagement ring. Uh, there's it's just so, especially it's in so the Passion much. Translation. It's you so could much. You could go, you could go into... Uh, Ephesians 1 and 2 and hang out for a long time and not go anywhere else as far as that declarations and those declarations there's so many and there's sheets you know with those declarations of who I am in Christ yeah and as you go through them yeah I've heard different testimonies from people who as as they spoke them over even even you know going through 
if you want to go through Ephesians yourself, yeah. or if you have a list of who I am in Christ. Right. And I don't know if you have access to put something like that on your I, I can when... Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be we, great to have that for... Well, because as you renew, as you speak those over, you're in the process of renewing your mind. You're believing, exactly. you, know, you speak them out. And I'm... Not just read them. No. Don't just read them. Speak, speak them, them out. And, them. and actually, too, look at yourself in the mirror yeah. as you speak them out. I um I uh, had a, I don't know where it is but when during the live I was showing them I had all these cards uh, they were either from Jennifer Evaz or Wendy Backlund they were writing out declarations and they weren't just they were radical oh, you know what I mean one of the most powerful things I ever did was write my own declaration no doubt yes of who I am right and that's it's like it's not only in the word of who God says you are in the word mm -hmm. but it's also who he says to you per, uh, who you are personally because he speaks to me differently than right. he speaks to you right. he he's created you for different things yeah. you guys for different things right. that he's created me for so he's not going to speak to us each the same it's way beautiful. his word is that strong foundation and when when you we are. when you start getting your own way of doing it, it comes alive. Part of my recovery process a long time ago was I would hear the vine dresser. So he God was speaking to me. I wasn't, I wasn't writing for you, no. <laughs> but then <laughs> yeah. I realized, hey, wait, this is affecting a lot of people. Yeah. Um, just recently, I think uh, I, I was thinking it was Dale Mass book, or but they said take Psalm, I think it was twenty one, and write it out as your Psalm. So then you're replacing. It was so, and I mean, I, I have that in my Bible, and I'm reading the Word, but I'm reading it from a very personal yeah. perspective. I can get real excited about this and just roll move roll all over you because i get so excited about it's yeah you know, you're my guest but whoa this <laughs> yeah, is such a pivotal it is and it's such it's such a foundational area yeah. because without this there really can't be any other healing there's no healing without that yeah. and that's probably why we're both excited because we're both in our journey of understanding the result of this you may be in a journey of just starting to write or you may be totally in tune like i wish i could be a guest because let me tell them my story so this is why we're so excited because it works it's not positive thinking it is the very word of god it's restoring our identity as we're in our healing it makes us confident and ultimately penny ultimately it gives you that foundation to walk out your purpose healthy yeah. walk out your purpose healthy you know god t told me a lot about a tomato plant one year it was a long time ago and i just felt like i was not going anywhere but i was still dealing with uh, do, overcoming trauma of different things that happened so I was in the healing process not realizing it and God showed me a tomato plant in my husband's garden and it was green and he said Teresa that's a green tomato plant I said yeah he said that tomato plant could get off the vine and be a green tomato some people like green tomatoes but they chop it up they fry it and it's messy so he hmm. said, if you get off right now, you're going to have nothing but messes around you. Hmm. And then he showed me a red. He says, Teresa, you are meant to be a red tomato. The roots are deep in the word of God. When it's time to pick, it'll be wonderful uh, with mayonnaise and on that sandwich. But you're not the green. Think of messes. I want you to be a red tomato and part of that red tomato for me was I didn't know my identity I had poverty spirit I had an orphan spirit I mean I had all these issues that God was gently this is inner healing taking me step by step exactly some of them yeah. were from painful experiences no doubt some of them were just my own losses some of them were getting over my own rejection issues but but that's a big but but through the process of letting his word renew my mind mm -hmm. Uh, inner healing, uh, well, this isn't a step, but finding people who speak life over you. Get rid of the toxicity, it might mean putting a boundary up against a friend. That's really hard, but you sometimes you got to protect yourself to continue to heal, to go on your journey. So we're just excited because we're in the process of renewing our mind every yeah. day. And Yeah, exactly. Because I know I would not be where I am today. Yeah. 
without renewing my mind. And renewing our mind helps everything, helps our relationships with our spouses, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my marriage has totally changed yeah. since, wow. since I've been in this process. Wow. I, t- I said that on the live cast. I said, the more my identity gets restored, the more better of a relationship that David and, and I it, have. And it's, it's, you become comfortable in your own skin. Yeah, not a facade. You, you don't, when you, you know who God created you to be, when you believe who God created you to be, who he says you are in the world and world word yeah. <laughs> and who he's spoken over you, the things like the prophetic that he has spoken over you, the promises he yeah. has spoken over you. When you believe that mm. here and not just know it here, but when yeah, it's it that seems. transformation is, is taking mm. it from head knowledge to knowing it in yeah. your heart. And when you know it in your heart, you're able to walk it out. And as you walk it out, you're able to be who God created you to be. Yeah. And you're be able to be comfortable in your skin and no matter what comes against you, mm. no matter where you are, no matter how many people come up and yeah. try to throw stuff at you, no matter how many times you could choose to get offended and you choose not to, yeah. no matter how many times people come up and reject you and say things like, why are you doing this? Or you, know, you shouldn't yeah. be doing this or look at you weird or yeah. kind of like, you know, whatever it is, there's so many different things that can happen in your life right. that could come against, it could, could it kind of come and try to trip you up. Mm-hmm. But as you go back to who God says you are yeah. and believe that truth and not the lies of the enemy, right. you're able to walk in the fullness of Hallelujah. what he's called you to be. So like I said, I've told you guys in one of the previous sessions, I wouldn't be here doing what I'm yeah. doing. I wouldn't have the passion of, of for it renewing your mind and for inner healing that I have now because of what he's yes. done. Thank it's you. like I want you guys all to get this because... Yeah. It's cha- transformed my life in such a way yeah. that there were so many hurts. There were so many things that have happened in my life and the walls and the, the lack of relationship. And just mm. it's like without being healed and be out walking in, walking in who I am, I'm like people that who knew me 20 years ago, mm-hmm. even maybe even 10 years ago, some yeah. of them five years ago. Yeah could look at me now as like, wow. wow. Yeah, that's good. Because of what he's done. So it's not something that happens overnight. Yes. God's miraculous and he can do a lot of things overnight. He can do things instantly and, and that's awesome. And I love that when he does that. But when we've had and we believed lies mm. for so long. Enabling lies. We yeah. need to trust the process of him yeah. walking through cutting down, mm-hmm. uprooting those strongholds, replacing the, the strongholds of, of disbelief or the lies, that strongholds that the lies have created, those roots, mm-hmm. cutting them off and planting new roots that go deep in yes. him. Because when we're planted, like what is it, Psalm 1, mm-hmm. that says when we're planted by the river, mm. the river of God, when we're planted in that river, when we're planted next, his living water comes and just, yeah. it's just that fountain that never yeah. ever you, wellspring Jesus. that just comes and just refreshes yeah. us. Amen. And you know, my saying, our breakthrough is your breakthrough. Mm. So we're sitting here saying we didn't, we just didn't, a lot of the inner healing that we're sharing, yeah, she may be writing a training manual, but we've walked through it with God. We, some people call it sozo. Uh, there's lots of different techniques. We're just trying to make our breakthrough be your breakthrough. So I just speak to someone who just needs to just let go of that rejection spirit. Just put a stake and say, you know what? I am going to go over. I'm going to draw a line and I'm stepping over to believe what God says. Someone else just like, they're just like stuck in a relationship. Lord, I pray you show them the boundaries to protect themselves. On a good day, I do well to manage me. Anybody else you want to make a declaration over? I just want to release a prayer over it. Okay. So it's like, Holy Spirit, we just ask you just to come and reveal to each and every one who is listening yes. who they are in you. Jesus. Who they are in Christ. And who the Father has, what the Father has spoken over them as they were created not even so much that was even before they were created when he thought about them when he first thought about them and conceived them in in, in, mm. in in who he is 
and yes. spoke that forth because he has spoken over each and every one of us who we are and what we are supposed to be working walking out and the 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 destiny and the purpose that we have and the identity that we have in him and as we begin to do that i just declare yes. that you will just begin to walk in who he created you to be and and just walk with your eyes fixed on him yes and walk with those blinders on like all the horses have on them that they see only him and that they keep your you just keep your eyes on him mm. and look at him and do not look at the counterfeit mm -hmm. do not compare yourself to anybody else or anything else mm -hmm. but trust him as he shows you and reveals to you who you are and then begin to proclaim that over yourself and i want to encourage each one of you guys to write your own declaration mm -hmm. i am a beloved daughter of mm -hmm. god mm -hmm. i am his child mm -hmm. i am a freedom fighter yeah. i am filled and and anointed with the purposes of god i am a worshiper i am whatever that is over your life begin to speak that over even if it's just a sentence or two a pro one or two declarations begin to proclaim that and as he gives you more begin to proclaim that yes. because as you begin to speak those personal truths mm -hmm. over yourself along with reading who you are in him mm -hmm. You're going to start walking differently. Yeah. You're going to start walking in the fullness of who he created you to yeah. be. You're going to become comfortable in your own skin. And you are just going to have fun playing on his playground, doing what he tells you to do, no matter what anybody says around you, because you're not going to care. That's you're just awesome. going to care about his approval and him yeah. and not what everybody else sees, because That's you're going to enjoy him and being who you are in him. I think that declaration was for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are really appreciative of you, Penny Tucker from Jacksonville, not Penny Jackson. <laughs> and I hope we get to do lots of these. And this is a tea talk. I hope this helps you. Please let me know what you think, what questions you have for Penny. And uh, we may even have a continuation because when it's all said and done, someone needs your breakthrough because on the other end of your breakthrough is someone who needs your hand because you have an extraordinary solution to someone's pain point. We're sharing our pain points, but we're sharing, yes, th there's freedom in Jesus. There's freedom in your identity. So we are, we'll be praying for you. I'll give Penny the list of names of you all and uh, we're proud of you too. Yeah. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video, and I really do love you. And just keep going, and just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Trust the process. Trust the process. The process is about relationship. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video.